Sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. It's okay, I wasn't asleep. Do you want a glass of milk? Thanks. Hope that bed's not too lumpy. It's better than under the motorway. Yes, yes, this is true. <laughs> there you go. So, um, do you want to talk about it? What? Whatever it is that made you want to leave home. No. Fair enough. I don't want to talk about things when I ran away from home either. You ran away? Yeah, heaps of times. See, my mum didn't even notice that I was gone. <laughs> At least your mum cares. What about your dad? He went away when I was really little. But you know him, right? Well, I do now. He turned up last year, sick as. He has a drinking problem. But he's doing well now. So where is he? Down south. We still keep in touch, but... He doesn't really feel like my real family, you know? That's Tama and little Bubba and Etty. Well, that took a while, but he's definitely family now. I don't know who my dad is. Well, I thought I did, but it wasn't him. Yep, I'm going Looks like Andrew's twigged we're back together then. Yeah, well, it's all about the annual now. <laughs> so are we okay? Am I allowed to kiss in public now? <laughs> Just one. Oh, look at her. Cow, she took Nora off me. She didn't even want him. Yeah, and you don't want him either. Not after the way he treated you. Hey, you know what I heard? That party the other night, Claire shagged that jerk Ross Grundy and half the first 15. That is so not true. Who told you that? Everyone knows. She is such a skanky hot. Well, it didn't happen. How come you're so sure? What do you know? Nothing. I just know that didn't happen. Come on, spill. I'd tell you. Look, I can't, all right? You mean you won't. Something you are. Is that boy still in bed? Yeah. Oh. Etty, hurry up. Hi. Hi, come in. Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan, um, why don't you go and get that boy up? Among anything that he is. Here's a uniform. Um, tell Eddie we'll give him a ride to school. We'll walk him. Dan. Is he allowed chocolate cake in his lunch? Oh, you didn't have to do that. Any time. Well, hopefully there won't be another time. Mm. Coffee? Yeah, thanks. For everything, Shannon. No worries. You know, I did, um, I managed to get a bit of a talk out of him last night. And? Well, I probably shouldn't say anything. That's probably why he talked to me, because, you know, I'm not involved. Oh, please, Shannon. Well, he, he is pretty desperate to meet his father. Right. And I'm sure that you've got your reasons for not telling him. Oh, thank you. You're the only person who said that. Everyone else thinks I'm just plain mean. But I can see where he's coming from. You know, I met my dad for the first time last year. Not that he's much to write home about, gambling and drunk all the time. He bailed on us when I was just a little kid. Well, you can see why I want to protect Dan, then. Is his father an alcoholic, too? No, but he's useless. Why should Dan have to put up with that? My father still is a bit of a mess, but, you know, meeting him just cleared up all these questions that, gosh, I didn't even know that I had. It's the not knowing that that really gets to you. Are you going to be like this all day? One word, Scarlett. Loyalty. Hi. Hey, you got time for me now, do you? All the time you want. I'm really glad you're my boyfriend, E.T. Yeah? Yeah. We still on? Yeah. Hey, you planning to come home tonight? It'd be really great if you did. Andrew and Sarah are driving me insane. Hey, Claire, want a scrum? Shut up, Russ. She's a bit little to be a Ford. You could go send her a win. Oh, nah. She'd make a perfect hooker. Oh. <laughs> Don't, Jake. Shut up, you disgusting pig. Oh, what? You gonna make me? She won't, but I will. Etty. Why are you defending that slapper? 
I knew it was going to be like this. It's not going to stop. I was going to bring you breakfast in bed. <clears throat> Clums in the sheets. That really is decadent. Decadence is what I'm good at. You don't mind me helping myself to everything? No, of course not. Make yourself at home. So, butter or low-fat spread? I wasn't sure. I think I'll have a shower first. Want someone to help you scrub those hard-to-reach bits? Why not? Christopher? Coming. Who are you? Memo from Dr. Valentine. He seemed very anxious that you should get this. Uh, thanks. Yvonne, I'm out to lunch. If this cove place is all it's cracked up to be, I may be some time. <laughs> That's right. Lunch with the big wig from Adelaide. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Oh, I think the warrant of fitness on my car's expired. I can take care of that. Uh, no need. Actually, I had it service yesterday. Everything's up to date, including registration. Well, someone's making themselves indispensable, wouldn't you say, Yvonne? <laughs> <laughs> A real treasure. Hi, so you got my memo. Yeah, I did. Um, very unexpected. Yeah, well, I know how much you like them. So, what is this serious deficiency in the consultant's work schedule? Ah, uh, yes, there is a very grave lack of fooling around time. In fact, there's none at all. That's because I save my fooling around time to outside work hours. No fun at all, you know that? I am so. Oh, really? When was the last time you did something that wasn't scheduled in your diary? Um, what about tonight, then? I'm working split shift. I only get a couple of hours off around lunchtime. Kids will be at school. We could leave our cell phones turned off. I'll meet you in admissions at one o'clock. Mm. Morning. Uh, Craig, have you met Hamish, Andrew's new PA? Uh, no, can't say I have. Craig Valentine, head of ED. Hamish Flynn, good to meet you. I'll leave you to it. And there's free tomorrow for that HOD meeting. But uh, if that's not good for you, I can reschedule. Yeah, and your request for a new nebulizer has been approved. Ah, great. Shannon can bake, eh? Oh, no, it's Tom, bro. Hey, you staying with us again tonight? Mum will make me go home. Oh, well, at least your mum wants you. Mine doesn't. Straight up? Yeah. She sent me down here, told me not to come back. Don't know how good you got it, bro. Morons. <laughs> Your wit and intelligence are so overwhelming, I can barely stand up. <laughs> hey, you know when it's summer, you start bonking the cricket team and still. <laughs> <laughs> Losers? This ends now. What are you gonna do? Go to Dupree. This would be some reason she's in charge. Mm -hmm.